the Alfie Wattam podcast. What are your thoughts now on on, on Gavin? Because um, he he you know during the private signing sessions he said that you were mm. Satoshi. He has then changed his opinion of of that. Well, he hasn't really changed his opinion. He's he's sad that he went through all this, and I don't blame him. I mean, um, so what, what what do you think about Gavin? Oh, I like him. I mean, um, uh, I put too much on him too mu- um, too fast, and I expected too much. Um, um, I mean, he wasn't probably the right person to do the role. I was a dictator. Um, Gavin wasn't, mm. um, and. BTC, uh, Bitcoin needed a benevolent dictator at the beginning. Sure. Gavin allowed consensus between people there and people like Jeff Garznick and others had very strong points that were very different to what mine were. Yeah. And um, Gavin um, allowed, like, didn't want conflict. Okay. I mean, back in the day when I ruled things, I yeah. ruled. I basically told people um, to, well, in in nicer terms, to go screw themselves. I mean... You have that Aussie dominant personality. I think that's something everybody could agree on. Yes. Yeah. So I think a a few people were incredibly happy when I was sort of out of the picture. Okay. Um, And as I said, um, in 2011, I didn't spend a lot of time. I just looked at what Gavin was doing and uh, every now and again, and I I saw, yep, things seem to be going okay. Yeah. Um, And I didn't really go on the forum at all. I didn't realise that um, they moved the forum and mm. because and um, effectively kicked me out. I didn't realise that they took it off SourceForge and mm. uh, moved it to GitHub and, and sure. completely kicked me out. Um, I was paying no attention, so I missed all that. Hey, thanks for watching this YouTube video. If you want to see more like this, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.